that will go ahead and complete the track level you're now able to go to the partners level and that level will enable you to select where you'd like to distribute your content and where you can access that uh, in two ways as well you can click step three partners or you can additionally once again go to distribute releases where you will have an overview of your submitted and unsubmitted releases and you can click on stores and partners and proceed from there so the partner screen is quite uh, long because we obviously have one of the largest distribution networks um, available in the industry um, but we try to make this as simple as possible so first we want to go ahead and say you know do we want to have this release available exclusively to a partner this is if you would like to have for example beatport or spotify have the release for a certain amount of time before someone else has it for the most part most users now from what we've seen from our data are just selecting a general release date but the exclusive option is still there if you wanted to give a exclusive promotion or for spotify for example to have the release for two weeks before anybody else does for the sake of this release we will just select a general release date which is obviously after the exclusive period as well and in this case will just be when we would like the release date to occur we've got some um, suggested release dates here as well this is a date that is um, available there only because in the internet, in the world of technology, a lot of different things will happen. So if we were to select all and distribute and select tomorrow's date, for example, it will likely not make it there because A, there's down periods at the end of the year, or B, FTP issues at the partner level may occur, etc. So we always do reject, we, we, we always request a suggested release date um, of four to six weeks out and this enables also our marketing team to get familiar with your product to be able to pitch it and find opportunities so in this case we're going to go ahead and go with that suggested release date and uh, you can also select a pre-order date so if you wanted to select that you wanted this release available for people to buy but not receive the download you can go ahead and do so so in this case I'm telling the system and all DSPs that accept pre-orders that I want my release available for pre-order on January 3rd. So for that period of 17 days or so, people can purchase the release, but they will not receive the release until the actual release date of the 20th. We will enable those previews on Amazon and our territory would be worldwide. If you have a release where you only have the rights for a particular territory, you just unclick that and you select the territories that you do have the rights towards. Uh, but in this case, this is a worldwide release, so we will just click worldwide. If you scroll down further, we've sort of um, categorized all of our partners in terms of different kind of criteria. So streaming and download, UGC and rights management, background music, etc. Um, for the sake of this release, and what we always recommend is that you do distribute to all partners, because this will ensure that your release is available in all territories and all partners that we continue to add into the system and beyond. So as you can see, I've just selected select all partners. And if you scroll down, you're able to see that every single partner is selected. And all I have to do there is click final step, which will be a review screen um, that will let me check everything before I hit submit.